Hey guys, this is Pixel High Def coming to you with a new uh, champion on the PBE, uh, Quiana, if that's how you say it. So she's got some typical spills here, uh, spills, spells here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and level up a little bit. So you can see kind of how these go here. So uh, Elemental Wrath, Edge of uh, Extal. She uh, blasts your weapon's enchantment in the target direction, consuming it. The projectile detonates to deal 80 physical damage, double damage there. And... Uh, you either do an ice enchantment, which briefly roots the enemy, uh, then slows them for 20 seconds, or 20% for one second. Rock enchantment, which does basically bonus damage if they're below 50%. And then a wild enchantment, which leaves a canopy trail that stealths you and grants 20% movement speed. Sort of like an escape. Canopy fades after attacking uh, from it. Attacking is misspelled again. Exiting it or after 3.5 seconds. Um, Edge of Extile, if you do not have an enchantment, slashes in the target direction, dealing physical damage to areas in a small area. Go ahead and pull this up so you can see the uh, differences. Deals 160 physical damage, uh, 96 bonus damage to those under 50%, and if nothing's up, then 160 physical damage to enemies in a small area. So that's what it looks like. We're going ahead and it's got a very cool, uh, quick cooldown. Uh, looks like 5.95 at level 4. Looks like a little whip. Let's we'll see what it looks like when you're not attacking. There we go. So, as you can see, it's going to hit more than one enemy here. So both of them get, get hit, and they both um, take damage from that. Then we're going to go to W. W is Terra Shape. It's 45 mana. It's got a six second cooldown on level five. Um, active, you target the river, wall, or bush, and you conjure elemental power from the environment and dash towards it to enchant your weapon with it and reset elemental wrath's cooldown. So you can use it to reset your Q. Uh, while your weapon is enchanted, you gain 20% attack speed and your attack and basic abilities deal 40 bonus damage. Additionally, you can gain 10% movement speed while out of combat and near the corresponding terrain type. So I can oh, get a wall, and then now I've got, I believe, uh, the wall gives me uh, wild enchantment. Is that what it is? Nope, that's not wild enchantment. What is that? Let's try, you said rock, rock wall, river, wall, or brush. Okay, let's go down here. Okay, so now I've got this enchantment, which should be... So brush, matching up colors here, hey! Uh, that should be the enchantment. Leaves a canopy trail that stealths you and grants 20% movement speed. So now I'm stealthed. Ah, you like that? All right, now let's try a, a wall. And what is that gonna do? That's going to... Let's see. Wall is brown, so it's going to be rock enchantment. You bonus damage to units under 50, which is going to be difficult to show you here, but you can see the additional effect here. And then we do a river, so we got to go over to river. I think I can teleport over there. There we go. All right, and now we've got the river enchantment, which does ice. So briefly roots the uh, enemy and slows them for 20 seconds. All right, so you see that. So depending on what you're pressing on. Oh, this is pretty cool. All right, so if I've got wood, now I can stun. Does this stun? I think it stuns, right? No, it just does additional damage. And brush, wood, and river, okay. Sounds to me, honestly, like she is going to be a very good jungler. Because she can come in from the side here. She can be like, oh, well, let me just pick up that. Oh, and let's do this. Oh, let's stealth. Oh, and then you're here and you're coming from behind. All right, so that's pretty cool. All right, and then if she doesn't have an enchantment, which is this last one, then she just does 150 physical damage in a small area. Both abilities deal 75% damage to targets beyond the first, so it does get reduced after the first hit. All right, next um, item is, or next to skill is Audacity. Uh, it's 40 mana, 10.2 cooldown. You dash through target enemy and you deal 70 
physical damage to them. So you dash through an enemy, kind of like probably a pike, but it doesn't do a stun. So if Elemental Wrath, Edge of Excel, is cast during this ability, Kuyana will aim it at the target of her dash. So if we're going to do a dash here, see what the updated stuff is. 210. Okay, so you don't have to direct the uh, Q then. So let's just do a EQ combo. Oh, it still, it still went with my mouse there. So what's that saying? If Elemental Wrath as is cast during this ability, Kuyana will aim it at the target of her dash. Okay, we'll try that again. Okay, so I guess you have to be up spot on though. Like you can't dash to the side. Hold on, Let's dash to the side. Oh, see it wants to, okay. But you can't even cast it unless you actually have an item. Or I mean, have it have a guy underneath. That's a good way of closing the gap. And then comboing. So what you could do is kind of like hit a wall here. Whoops, let me cool down seem to be up. That helps. I wonder how long this lasts. How long does that last? Looks like it doesn't go away. What's your passive? First basic ability or attack to damage each enemy deals 83 bonus physical damage. This effect has a 25 second per target cooldown, but the cooldown resets when you cast W to gain a different weapon enchantment. Okay, cool. So you can, as long as that's up, you need to be using it. So we're going to do green. Okay, so we should go invisible. We'll do a dash and then we'll get out. So kind of like a Kali's Shroud a little bit. All right, cool. Now we're going to do this next one. So Supreme Display of Talent. 100 mana does 85 second cooldown. Launch a shockwave that knocks back enemies and detonates when it hits a wall. The entire wall then explodes. So launch a shockwave that knocks back enemies and detonates when it hits a wall. The entire wall then explodes to stun nearby enemies for up to a second and deals physical damage equal to 240 plus 10% of their max damage. Ooh, so it's really effective against tanks. Um, any river or brush the shockwave passes through also explode after delay for this, for damage, same damage done. Okay, so we're gonna take off the, um, where is it? Auto refresh cooldown. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go ahead and take off the. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and take off the auto refresh. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do auto refresh cooldown, so we can go ahead and just cast what we want to cast. So look like this combo here, bam. There you go, and that resets that. Okay, then we're gonna see. Boom! Nice little stun there. Wow, that was cool. Okay, so let's see what that does. So I can fire it into there and it's gonna explode everywhere around it. So if a guy's like retreating, so if, if this is great for jungling, the guy's retreating, I can't quite get to him, he's out of my range, guess what I just did. Okay, so what about uh, brush? Six hundred twenty. That's the full amount. I got to do mana here. Check that out. Okay, so it does that whole circle there? Any river or brush the shockwave passes through also explode after delay. Yeah, I don't see the river explosion. I guess it just freezes. Yeah, it just freezes. Okay. Stuns him. Doesn't look like... Oh, it stuns that too. Okay. 
explodes, it stuns. The entire wall then explodes if it's a wall. Okay, cool. Any river or brush that the shockwave pester also explode after delay for the same damage and stun. Okay, cool. Now, if you don't hit something... Ah, I see. There you go. Nothing. You see that? Now, if I do the bush... The bush itself... Ooh, <laughs> that's a good one. How far does that go? Is that like a global? No way. Okay, it's not a global. It goes pretty far though. Holy smokes. Okay, so that's pretty cool. All right, so I could see her being, I play mid because you've got uh, river, brush, and wall right there. I uh, play jungle because you're gonna be going through all those elements. I mean, lane, uh, lane as well. So I'm not sure exactly uh, where she fits in. But uh, I see uh, from Moby Guides, um, sh there's a, already a jungle guide out. There is... Um... Let's see. Looks like people are going through... Uh, for example, if you do top lane or mid lane, Trinity Force, she's more of like a bruiser build. Trinity Force, Sterics Gauge, um, into Titanic Hydra. So that's like the top lane. Very, very interesting. Okay, so anyway, that's that's pretty decent. Um, I think basically this is a, a pretty good champion. I think I'm going to give her a try in the jungle and see how she uh, plays well. Uh, because she has these type of um, AoE attacks, she would do really good in um, uh, with like starting with the talisman. And uh, we'll just see kind of how it goes. All right, so see you in game. Check it later.